from his rise to leadership in 1921 to his death by suicide in 1945, over 40 attempts were made on Adolf Hitler's life. What are you proposing? That we neutralize him with estrogen, the female sex hormone. <laughs> are you kidding me? Is this for real? I know it's hard to believe, but it is totally true. Contacted Brian Ford, the researcher that discovered the story when it was recently declassified. The Americans put it rather well. They said, take away his mustache and give him breasts. Really? You're kidding me. I'm being serious. This was, this was actually considered. Secret agents. The number of secret agents in Germany was quite high. And it would certainly have been possible to have got something into his food. So, like a chemical estrogen? Yes. All right, so fill me in on the rest of the plan. Back in the 1930s, it was believed that chemicals in the body pretty well controlled everything. So it seemed fairly logical. Give it to Hitler and he'll stop being an aggressive man and turn into a gentle and mild-mannered woman. And instead of going to war, he might just turn his back on the whole idea. I mean, we believe you that this is a secret plan, but there is no way this got off the ground, did it? Might as well hear it from the man himself. Believe me, the whole idea from top to bottom was just silly. If it would have had any effect at all, it would have been to upset his hormone balance, and that could have made him far more angry. Seriously, we have to score this and rank all the contenders. So number one criteria is how long did the project last? Never went live, so unfortunately that one gets a zero. Criteria number two, how well did it work? Well, the fact that they never did it, that gets a zero as well. Oh, but criteria number three, how insane was it? This one is super insane. Oh yeah, 10 out of 10.